going to do line 7 and line 8 and then line 9 is called the WDA so I'm going to put that one in because I need that one and then line uh, 10 is additions that get the AIA and 40% FYA and then I'm going to have AIA and then I'm going to have FYA 40% alright so a lot of lines isn't there and then we're going to have low emission cars down here and then we're going to have FYA 100% so all the lines, technique is to get all the lines down first uh, like that. So now once you've got all the lines down, the next bit of the journey is to put the things onto the pro forma at the last, at the right place. Now the additions go in as a positive figure and the disposals go in as a negative figure. So the first figure is 61400. Now we wrote AIA and FYA next to that one. So that goes all the way down here down at line 10 and I put it into the column that says AIA and FYA above it so I'm going to put it in here 61400 all right so I'm going to put that figure in to that column that's the first item so that's this one here then the next one is the 22200 now that one's got special rate pool next to it and it's got high car now if you remember the high car um, is all the way up here and it's going into the special rate pool. So it's going all the way across here into this column. So 22, uh, 200 goes in like that. The next item is uh, another car, isn't it? So the next item is uh, 10,900. That's a medium car. And that's uh, going in uh, under medium car. So let's put that one in down here. That's going into the general pool. And that's going in at 10,900. Now the next one is another car, isn't it? So uh, the next item is uh, another car, but that's a low emission car. Now low emission cars are, uh, are going in slightly further down because remember they're going to get 100% FYA. So I'm going to put that down here, 13,800. Because that one gets the 100% FYA. I might as well do that while I'm here. Because for low emission cars, remember, you get 100%. So what you do is you put that as a negative figure there. And then into this right-hand column, you put your uh, first year allowance as into the column that's called capital allowances. So all your capital allowances are going to be aggregated in that right-hand column. So that's the first one I've done. Okay, so... Uh, that's going to be that one. So we've now got two disposals to bring in. One is the lorry that's being sold and one is a motor car. So I'm going to bring that in at line six. All right. So let me put those in at line six uh, up here. So I'm putting in the um, 7,600 and I'm also bringing in the 8,800. Only one place to bring in disposals at line six. So once you've got all the additions and disposals onto the pro form at the right place, because that's obviously critical, the next thing is to work out the allowances. So we're going to work out the AIA. That's at 100% first. But remember, the maximum is 50,000. So you need to put 50,000 underneath there, which is the maximum, and the 50,000 over there into the allowances column. Because remember, that's an AIA, annual investment allowance. You then take the difference uh, between these two figures and the difference is going to be about 11,400 and the balance of the expenditure, that gets a 40% uh, FYA. So that's going to be something like 4,560. And when you take that away, you get 6,840 and then you've got to transfer that figure across into the general pool. All right, so that's your FYA. The ex the low emission car, obviously, the if you give 100% um, uh, FYA on that, the balance of transfer into the general pool for that one uh, would be nil. Now, the only thing I've got to do now is to work out my WDA. So I've done my AIAs, I've done my FYA, so now I've got to do my WDAs. And I do my WDA at line nine. 
And to do that, you have to add down each of your columns. So let's add down the things in the general pool, adding all these numbers down, and you should get a positive figure in the general pool of 11, 2, 16, 400 in the column that's called expensive car brought forward, and 22, 200 in the column that's called special rate pool. And now we need to work out the WDA. Now on the general pool, you multiply that figure by 20%. And that gives you something like 2240. And that figure is called a writing down allowance. Um, on the expensive car, remember you take 16,400 um, times 20%, uh, which gives you about 3280. Uh, but remember, that's a, subject to a maximum WDA of 3,000. So I'm going to put 3,000 in there as the maximum. And then remember on the special rate pool, the WDA is only at 10%. So you put 10% into uh, this column. And you've now got all your allowances. Now to get the allowances, you add up that right-hand column. And the total allowances are 75,820. Like that. Now that's the depreciation that the company can claim and that is going to reduce the company's trading profit. So that's their allowable expense, if you like, when calculating their taxable profits. So let me just recap on, on what we have done in this last uh, bit of our journey. So we chose a topic area from the syllabus and I tried to choose the one which is most frequently examined and the one I chose was from unit B and unit C. Uh, one, the income tax liabilities unit and the corporation tax liabilities unit. And in the uh, income tax liability unit, it was uh, under uh, section 3G and under the corporation tax unit, it was section 2. And we talked about all the different um, items there. So just in summary, what we did was we looked at that topic. Uh, we looked at the definition of what plant and machinery was. We talked about all the different allowances and how to calculate them. And then we practiced a, a little example to um, illustrate how all these things are brought together. And Remember that typically this topic would come in question one for maybe seven marks and question uh, number two as well uh, for about eight marks as well. So 17 marks in the paper you would expect to be on the topic of cap allowances on plant machinery. So very important and requires quite a lot of technique and learning to be able to master it. So I've chosen very interesting topic to finish off this little uh, introduction to F6. So I look forward to seeing you soon and happy studying.